IET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics Page 17 Module 1.2 Preferences of a consumer Rationale The consumer can rank any combination of goods as more less or equally preferred to any other combination of goods according to her preferences key concepts indifference curve diminishing rate of substitution 1.2.1 ranking the combination of goods of all the goods we consume consider only two goods for simplification of our analysis let us name these as good 1 and good too we will assume that the consumer can rank all possible bundles of goods according to their preferences in other words given any two different bundles the consumer can decide whether she prefers one over the other or is indifferent between the two 1.2.2 choice of goods as per the preferences Consumer's preferences are assumed to be such that between any two bundles x1 x2 and y1 y2 if the x1 x2 has more of at least one good and no less of the other good compared to y1 y2 then the consumer prefers x1 x2 to y1 y2 Such preferences are called monotonic preferences. Let us take the bundles 2,2, 1,2, 2,1 and 1,1 mentioned in the previous table. These bundles can also be plotted on the graph as shown in figure 1.7 with good 1 on the x axis and good 2 on the y axis. We mark point A representing the bundle 1,2, B 2,1, C 2,2 and D 1,1. A consumer's preferences can also be shown diagrammatically by joining points A and B to obtain the indifference curve representing bundles along which the consumer is indifferent in figure 1.7 there is an indifference curve passing through bundles a 1,2 and b 2,1 figure 1.7 points above and below indifference curve here we have two axes x and y Good 1 is represented on the x axis and good 2 is represented on the y axis. Both the axes have 3 parts each and the curve is downward sloping. We also find point C 2,2 and point D 1,1. Point C 2,2 represents the more preferred bundles and point d 1,1 represents the less preferred bundles more preferred bundles in figure 1.7 starting on point a 1,2 on the indifference curve a movement horizontally and rightwards to point c 2,2 implies an increase in quantity of good 1 while quantity of good 2 remains the same similarly starting from point b 2,1 on the indifference curve a movement vertically and upwards to point c 2,2 implies an increase in quantity of good 2 while the quantity of good 1 remains the same hence point c in comparison to points a and b on the indifference curve represents those bundles which have at least more of one good and no less of the other good thus bundle c is more preferred to bundle a and bundle b 
less preferred bundles. Once again, starting from point A, 1, 2 on the indifference curve, a movement vertically and downwards to point D, 1, 1 implies a decrease in quantity of good 2, while the quantity of good 1 remains the same. Similar exercise can be done to move from point B, 2, 1 to D, 1, 1. Therefore, point D has lesser of at least one good and no less of the other good compared to point A and B on the indifference curve. Thus, bundle D is less preferred to bundle A and bundle B. Page 19, 1.2.3 Substitution between goods Consider two bundles, A, 1,2 and B, 2,1 as drawn in figure 1.7. Given that the consumer is indifferent between these two bundles, as she gets the same level of satisfaction, we can say that she will move from A, 1,2 to B, 2,1 despite the loss of one unit of good 2 only because she is able to gain one unit of good 1. The amount of good 2 that she has given up for an extra unit of good 1 is called the rate of substitution. 1.2.4 Diminishing Rate of Substitution In the figure 1.8, we have four bundles A, X1, Y1 B, X2, Y2 C, X3, Y3 D, X4, Y4 marked on the indifference curve. We know it is only possible to move along the indifferent bundles such as A, B, C, D. Move from up to down along the indifference curve. When with increase in quantity of one good, there is a simultaneous decrease in the quantity of the other good. However, this decrease in quantity is not exactly the same as we move from bundle A to B, B to C and C to D. This is also the reason for varying slopes along the indifference curve. Thus, slope of AB will be more than the slope of BC, which is further greater than the slope of CD. Slope of an indifference curve between any two points A and B is equal to y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 which is equal to delta y divided by delta x. The quantity of good 2 that the consumer is willing to give up as she moves from B to C is lesser than A to B. Similarly, quantity of good 2 given up by the consumer as she moves from C to D is lesser than B to C. Hence, as the quantity of good 1 increases, the amount of good 2 that the consumer is willing to give up also goes down. Preferences of this kind are called convex preferences. Figure 1.8 Diminishing Marginal Rate of Substitution in this figure, here we have two axes x and y. Good 1 is represented on the x axis and good 2 is represented on the y axis. x axis has four parts and so has the y axis. There is a downward sloping indifference curve. A represented by x1, y1. Point B represented by x2, y2. Point C is represented by x3, y3 and point D represented by x4, y4. 
so we can say that indifference curves have diminishing rate of slope and are downward sloping. Therefore, for very small changes, the slope is equal to the rate at which the consumer substitutes one good for the other. This means an increase in the amount of good one along the indifference curve will necessarily require a decrease in the amount of good two. They are convex in general. The rate of substitution between good two and good one is called the marginal rate of substitution or MRS. The indifference curves never intersect each other. Page 20 1.2.5 Indifference Map Figure 1.9 Indifference Map Here we have a graph with two axes, X and Y. X axis represents good 1. Y axis represents good 2. In this graph, we have three indifference curves, IC1, IC2 and IC3. Point D lies on the indifference curve IC1. Point A and B lie on the indifference curve IC2. Point C lies on the indifference curve IC3. There is a diagonal arrow pointing in the right direction. This shows that as we go higher, a consumer can buy more of good 1 and good 2. All the points on an indifference curve IC represent bundles which are considered indifferent by the consumer. For example, as in figure 1.9, a consumer will be indifferent between bundle A and B on IC2. He or she will prefer bundle C over bundles A, B and D since bundle C lies on a higher IC that is IC3. Higher indifference curve means higher level of satisfaction. Figure 1.9 depicts the consumer's preferences over the various bundles which can be represented by a family of indifference curves and it is called an indifference map. Test your understanding. 1. Suppose the price of good X is rupees 10 and price of good Y is rupees 20. Your friend Sham has rupees 1000 to spend per month on good X and good Y. A. Draw your friend's budget constraint. B. Imagine that your friend divides his income equally between good X and good Y. How many units of each good will he be able to buy? C. Suppose your friend's income has doubled. Draw the new budget line. 2. Answer the following statements and explain giving reason. A. Why does the indifference curve slope downwards? B. Why does higher indifference curve give higher level of satisfaction? You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India. Mm -hmm.